what is the uh, perspective of supporting and extending alpaca? You know, we don't want to bet on a horse that's gone in uh, three years from now. Uh, yeah, so that's a question that we are also getting occasionally. Um, and uh, and so so our uh, group leader, uh, Michael, uh, had secured that alpaca went into some uh, handful uh, strategic uh, projects. Uh, and so now Alpaca got uh, the secured funding through that uh, for a few years at least. Um, so, um, so we have that. We have, well, as you saw, Jim is a workshop, people working on Alpaca. Uh, and we have like, PhD students starting with Alpaca. Uh, so, so at least we plan to prolong that, for prolong Alpaca for a few years at the very least. Yeah, um, alpaca is also uh, um, we, we not not only uh, develop alpaca uh, to bring it somehow to the outside. It is also uh, driven by our own needs. Uh, we we uh, started with our parties and cell code, and at some point we saw okay, it is not possible to write for all platforms, and we need it for several platforms. So we started to uh, build alpaca because uh, we think that it's not useful to integrate something like that only in one project and we have a lot of synergy effects uh, with other projects uh, in our group and other groups now and um, we de developed this uh, alpaca now since over five years I think and um, uh, the good position is that that uh, our boss Michael Bassmann is uh, bringing it also to uh, the German Science Center uh, uh, help the Helmholtz uh, uh, centers and it is integrated into several projects as uh, the gate said so uh, there there is a uh, um, uh, we can't we, we, we can't uh, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, say what what is really going on in, in 20 years or so but it's a strong strategy to integrate it to have uh, have it really as part of, uh, 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 of our, our centers or not not only one center and uh, to maintain it very, very uh, for, for, for a long time, because we think this is a way we need to go uh, with our software. We need it also for our software, so we will keep the maintenance, and we are working strongly on on extend all the functionality. Maybe as a, as a follow up question, can you can you say something about the current users or who who have in integrated this already into their development? Um. We, we have uh, okay since, since it's open source uh, it is sometimes a little bit hard to say uh, something about users there, there are some uh, unknown users um, but uh, we have uh, integrated in, in several projects in our group in in, in uh, other groups uh, we have uh, users from the technical university Dresden uh, they also integrated uh, into a combination of an communication library called dash and uh, integrated uh, alpaca and um, bring this then into the upcoming HPC benchmarks for uh, uh, which are coming out I hope this year uh, with dash mg we have integrated into pick on GPU which will, will be uh, also part of uh, the HPC benchmark uh, from spec um, then we have users from uh, from from DLR from the German aerospace, oh, how it's called in English? In, in German, it's Deutsch Luft und Raumfahrt. It's aerospace center from Germany. Um, uh, we have uh, corporations uh, with uh, industry partners. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say the names, therefore I can't say it now. Um, this are the Jack, and we have this collaborations also now ongoing uh, with this with, uh, with, with with and th this are the direct users which are using directly Alpaca, but we have also uh, our 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 project Pick on GPU, which is somehow the user of Alpaca, and this um, code is for example used and also uh, um, developed from from many more users. Uh, over the world. We have a nice map for, for Picon GPU where it is used 
So it is running on, on several systems in the world. And also uh, we get uh, developers from their side, not always explicitly for Alpaca. Thanks. And PikaGPU is also now was selected for Oak Ridge Car pro uh, program to be running on Frontier one that's available. And we are now working with American colleagues to prepare PikaGPU for Frontier. And that involves developing Alpaca because we, for example, as part of that project, we, we developed Alpaca feed backend. And now we are working on Alpaca 25 backend. Uh, also for that, since these two are the main uh, programming APIs to access Frontier in the future. Uh, can I ask a, um, a follow-up question on this? You you mentioned the uh, uh, spec, actually. That's quite interesting. I just wanted to know if uh, actually so Alpaca will be used to provide the, the portability across different uh, uh, different devices that then can be benchmarked with spec. Uh, it, it will be uh, provide uh, the base uh, to to bring the portability uh, for two projects. One is from the Technical University Dresden, this is Dash, Dash MG, and the other one is Pick on GPU. These are two benchmark cases, and uh, both of the uh, of the cases will be uh, you can say accelerated by Alpaca, but not not all. Uh, a few uh, use uh, plain OpenMP uh, pragmas. Uh, Open SEC pragmas, and um, I think there's also a Cocos um, example in. Thanks. You're welcome. Uh, I think we also have users in Switzerland, right? Uh, the Paul Scherer Institute. I think they also have a project uh, which uses Alpaca. Yeah, so, so there is a project that, uh, yeah, so there is a joint project that uh, for uh, young crowd detectors uh, to develop the, the, yeah, the detector code in Alpaca that's what also now being developed. It's also on GitHub in computationalization physics. So it's, yeah, it gets another code that yeah, makes use of Alpaca. Okay, are there any more questions? Uh, I read somewhere that you are working on Intel GPUs. Um, any news on that? Yeah, I played around with Intel GPUs uh, in my pull request for the SQL backend. Uh, the problem is not that we uh, not to use Intel GPUs, but SQL. So SQL and Apaca are a bit incompatible at uh, multiple points. And uh, I still have to figure a way around that. So for now, the SQL backend is incomplete and is missing some functionality until I have solved these issues. But I have uh, successfully executed some of the uh, lesser complex examples from Alpaca on Intel GPUs. So in principle, it also should be possible to use Intel GPUs prospectively. Are there more questions? Just, just one more question, maybe. Um, but, I mean, this is probably not for for now, but uh, strategically, and I, I don't know if it makes sense at all. But do you think about also using, for example, FPGAs as as, as backends? That was actually the first purpose of using the SQL backend because we wanted to get on Xilinx FPGAs. Okay. At the time I started, uh, I think Xilinx was the only FPGA vendor to have a SQL uh, implementation. And it'll follow it a bit later. And uh, so, so on Xilinx FPGAs, the compiler state doesn't permit uh, to run Alpaca right now. There are many, many issues with the Xilinx compiler that uh, are just not possible to work around right now. I haven't tested it yet with the Intel SQL implementation, but that's definitely on my to-do list to also run uh, the examples that I know are working on Intel GPUs that I also want to test them on Intel FPGAs. Thanks. Any more questions? Okay. Then uh, I declare the Alpaca online tutorial to be over. 
Um, thank you all for coming and for listening and also for bearing with us for uh, five days. It's good to see that so many are still here on Friday. Uh, we enjoyed it, I think. Uh, although at least I enjoyed it. I don't, I don't know if Sergei enjoyed it, but I possibly too. Uh, and yeah, I hope to stay in contact with some of you or all of you uh, if you use Alpaca. <laughs>